Hi, my name is Aparna Shah and I lead the direct-to-consumer business at Equifax. Today, I want to share five things you should know about credit scores. A credit score reflects things like the types of credit you have, your past credit accounts, and your payment history. At Equifax, some of the most commonly used credit scores range from 300 to 850, and the higher the score, the better. Remember, you don't have just one credit score, and your credit scores may be different depending on the company providing the score and the data the score is based on and the method of calculating the score. Lenders use your credit score as one factor in deciding whether or not they'll approve you for things like a loan or a credit card and what the terms will be. That's why it's a good idea to monitor your credit and understand how scores work. So let's get started. Number one, you should check your credit score often. People sometimes think they can't check their credit scores because it might hurt them, but that's not true. Checking your own score is a good idea and looking at your score doesn't lower it. It helps you see what lenders might view when you wanna borrow money or get a new service like a cell phone. Understanding your scores and building them up over time can help you when you wanna make a large purchase like a car or a house. Number two, pay your bills on time. This doesn't just help you avoid late fees, it also helps you set the stage for new credit opportunities. When it comes to your credit score, positive payment history matters. Number three, try to mix it up. Having a mix of accounts like car loans and leases, credit cards, or a mortgage can help your score. Keeping those accounts for longer periods of time while paying them on time and keeping a low balance can also help improve your score. However, too many open accounts can lower a credit score, so it's important to only take out credit you need and can afford. Just getting started and looking to establish a credit history, credit cards can help you do that. Whether it's your own credit card or you join a family member's account as an authorized user, a track record of purchases and payments on a credit card can strengthen your score. Just be sure you're applying for credit only when you need it. When you apply for a new loan or a line of credit, the bank looks at your score, which is called a hard inquiry, and it's included as part of your credit report. Having several hard inquiries within a short period of time can decrease your score. Again, checking your personal credit report and scores can help you keep tabs on recent hard inquiries and does not affect your score. Number four, your credit score also reflects how much available credit you use. You may hear people talk about keeping your debt to credit ratio low, which represents the amount of revolving credit you're using on your revolving credit accounts, such as credit cards. Simply put, that means you have much larger available credit compared to your credit balance. Using less of your available credit limit can help raise your score. For example, if you have a credit card that's a $1,000 credit limit, it's a good idea to not spend more than $300 on the card before you pay it off. Number five, and finally, one of the most important tips. If there's a problem, you can and should fix it. If you see something wrong on your credit report, you can file a dispute. It's important to act quickly if you discover an error. Maybe you find an account that doesn't belong to you or something is missing. Consumer reporting agencies will investigate any legitimate dispute and respond to you within 30 days, subject to some exceptions. You can find more information about disputes at Equifax.com. Remember, having a high credit score can be beneficial for future financial opportunities. It helps improve your likelihood of approval and credit terms. So it's good to know how credit scores work, how accounts like credit cards can help, and what you can do to fix any problems. Thanks for watching.